Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on Beep Street Drumbo, the modular groove box. In this tutorial, in this video, I'd like to go through a simple um, explanation on how you can transpose multiple tracks using the main track. You may already know this, but if you don't, it's a nice way to do this, nice and easy. So, um, let's start um, selecting track number one. Let's uh, click on the plus sign, let's bring in an FM operator, let's um, give it some character, a bit of a back sustain, and let's insert uh, uh, some um, uh, events so that we can generate something like so. Perfect, let's go to uh, now track number two, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Let's bring up the AN kick so that we have a kick for uh, every four different steps. So let's play again. Nice. And again, to make it a touch more interesting, again, let's bring in another instrument. Let's choose a preset and the uh, preset. And then let's choose, I don't know, a dust pad B. Okay, perfect. Now let's enable the keys here. Also the number of voices to three because I'm going to record chords. So, and let's re record a C minor chord. Okay, and then let's um, uh, record, I don't know, for example, F minor chord. So, and also a G minor. Okay, perfect. So we have something like this now. Okay, I decreased a little bit the volume as the part was too high. Now let's go, uh, let's go into transpose these um, three tracks. So it's very simple, click on the main track and let's connect the MIDI input of each track to the MIDI output of the main track, like so. Click there, click here, click here and click here. Now, if you go uh, to, if you keep the main track selected, you will see that as I change note on the keyboard, uh, if the rumble is playing, uh, the three tracks, they will also be transposed. Okay, nice and simple. So I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye.